All right, so it is April 11th, 2017. And um, as you may know, Windows Vista support has ended today. And uh, basically what this means is that uh, you won't be getting any like new updates for uh, you know Windows Vista. There's no good, there's going to be no patches, no um, updates, no new things. It's basically all gone. I mean, it's not really all gone, but new updates they're not going to happen anymore and you won't get any support for it and basically if you're still using windows vista i recommend that you upgrade to windows 7 or 10. so um just as a you know rest in peace windows vista video we're going to be taking a quick look at windows vista uh 10 years after its release so let's go over some quick history about windows vista so windows vista was released to manufacturing in 2006 in about November or October of 2006. However, it was not in stores until early 2007. There was also a lot of versions of Windows Vista. There was the home premium version, which is the version of Windows Vista we are going to be checking out today, the um, ultimate version, the business version, and a lot more. If you want to look at all these versions, go to the official Wikipedia page for Windows Vista. Also, this is a Service Pack 2. Service Pack 2 was released in February of 2008. And we are running this on an Intel Pentium Doll CPU with 4 gigabytes of RAM. So let's go ahead and get started. So Windows Vista was actually known as one of the worst operating systems. This is because it was a little buggy. Uh, not a lot of programs would like to work on it. And also, um, it required a lot of hardware. It required a better graphics card than what most people had. As you can see, uh, the GUI was also changed in Windows Vista to be an arrow, as you can see here. This sort of made the computer look nicer, but also required a better graphics card and more processing power and resources. However, you could simply change it back to the Windows Classic version or any other themes. Also, all right, that was a pretty um, a little short history of Windows Vista. You know, it was released about five years after Windows XP and um, was released in 2007. And that's pretty much what it is. So it was known as like a bad operating system. And we're just going to look at it. So the first thing with uh, Windows um, Vista is um, Microsoft Office. Now, in this video, I just have uh, Office XP but um i'm using um yeah i'm using office xp um and this is word 2002 actually that come it comes with office xp and uh, you can get the office 2003 edition uh but i didn't have the disc when i originally installed windows vista so i did office xp instead i could upgrade but i'm not gonna do that especially since i won't be using this install of windows vista anymore since support has completely ended and you got the office assistant here using microsoft agent and uh, yeah and uh, also um i also have sony vegas on here um if you don't know sony vegas 11 will run on service pack 2 which you can get from when you is it, uh, i'm not sure if you can actually download the old updates from windows update anymore um but uh, i think you can and uh, also let's actually see what happens if we try to open up windows update Alright, so, Windows Update. Yep, there we go. Alright, we're gonna update my Windows, or at least try to. Maybe it should say something about the, uh, uh, you know, the updates, since, um, since uh, we're connected to the internet. So, go ahead and check for updates. You gonna give me any message saying that Windows Vista support has ended? And while that's checking, uh, we also have Atacity on here, the uh, audio editor. And a lot of programs can run on uh, Windows Vista. So, we open this up. Uh, Audacity. Right, just give it a second to open. And yeah, you can import, you know, audio files, reverse them, and yeah. And uh, also, I have Driver Magician. This is sort of like a driver search program that, uh, like, searches for drivers and then installs them. And it actually works fairly nice. I've actually used this. When I don't know what the hell is in the computer that I'm using. Uh, no. 
Just, you can back up your drivers, you can restore them, and you can uh, actually update your drivers. And yeah. And uh, we're actually going to look at the internet now. So I have Mozilla Firefox on here. Uh, the only internet browsers you can kind of get on Windows Vista are Firefox. It, you can't install any new updates with Chrome. They don't support... Google does not support Chrome anymore. Which, I mean... I guess they could probably understand why they're doing that. Because no one um, uses Vista in 2017 or whenever they discontinued it i think they uh discontinued it in like 2015 and we're gonna go ahead and check out youtube now on mozilla firefox come on i have an extensions loading up and i always bring up that page youtube.com And, um, it takes a while to load. Alright. So, okay, now I'm on YouTube. Um, as you can see, you can still get YouTube on, uh, um, you can still get YouTube on, uh, Windows Vista. You can also get it on Windows XP. So, yeah, you can still use YouTube on, uh, Windows, um, Vista. It's sort of slow. I actually recommend Opera if you're going to be using Windows Vista. But I don't have that installed for some reason. So, yeah. And, um, should be loading my channel now. So, 242 subscribers with 62,000 views. And, um, we'll go ahead and look at this. Um, my most viewed videos, uh, my recent activities. And all that stuff. Um, so, yeah, that's basically it. Um, I'm not sure. What should I watch? I'll watch this. And it's, a little, it's really slow. I didn't expect the, um, it to be this slow. I mean, I was expecting the internet to be slow, but not this slow. And, yeah, I do have Flash installed, so it will play this. And there's my Discord server. Alright, it's taking forever to load. Okay, there we go. So as you can see, we still get YouTube on, you know, uh, Windows Vista. So, yeah. And it's still checking for updates. Um, uh, okay. And also, uh, Windows Vista came with a lot of programs. Uh, it actually came with Windows Movie Maker, like just as Windows XP did. However, this is version uh, 6.0. If you go to help about, this is version 6.0.002. We can put in this, uh, you know, we can put in, you know, videos and put music on them. So we got a bear, you know, messing with the water as we got this music playing. And, you know. <laughs> Pretty simple if you just wanted to, you know, make a, you know, multiple clips, just squish them together and put some music on it. That's really what Windows Movie Maker is for. I recommend using Sony Vegas. Um, what else do we have? We have Microsoft Virtual PC. That did not come with Windows Vista. I installed it myself. Uh, Windows DVD Maker. Make DVDs, I guess. Uh, Windows Defender. Yeah, this is the antivirus that comes with it. I'm not sure how good this is. It's probably outdated. And then there's Windows Photo Gallery, and yeah. You open up this. It's just Windows Photo Viewer. You can just view photos with it. Actually, it looks a lot like Windows Media Player. Oh, yeah, Windows Media Player we have on here. I actually like the version of Windows Media Player that we have 11. I like how you can, um, if you go to Now Playing. Um, you can change the color of how the, um, thing looks. And this makes me so nostalgic since I have this on Windows XP. If we go to, um, Bars and Ways, Battery, I forget how you do this. There we go, so, View, Virtualizations, Enchantments, Color Chooser. 
Yep, there we go. As you can see, you can customize it. And you can make it like that. I prefer it like this. But, yeah. And there's also the media guide. Um. That I, um. I used to check out the media guide. Oh. <laughs> uh, expected identifier. I think that's JavaScript. Wow. Okay. I guess the media guide does not work anymore. And oh god, what's going on? Oh god, wow, 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 wow. Okay. So, basically, we're gonna check out just a few more things, and then we're gonna say goodbye to Windows Vista forever. And ever. So, uh, we got Microsoft Office XP in here. Oh, oh yeah, there's also an email client in here, a built-in email client, not Outlook. Windows Mail. Basically, this was the replacement for Outlook Express 6, which was in Windows XP. Basically, this is sort of like the new Outlook Express. It's sort of like Outlook Express for Windows Vista. Yep, oh, Windows Mail is the successor to Outlook Express. And uh, I think I actually had, um, I think I actually had it to open up my Gmail or something. But I'm not sure. Uh, MSO. I think that's Microsoft MS um, Windows. I don't know what that is. Windows Mail Team. Yeah. And also, you got the sidebar. You should probably been looking at. Uh, you got the clock. I don't know why you would need need this analog clock when you have a much better digital clock at the bottom. Yeah. Please close it. I don't need it. And uh, you can. Um, there's this sidebar, which you can put gadgets on here. In Windows 7, it was uh, made a little bit better since you could actually, um, you could actually, like, move them around all over the screen and not just here. And this allows you to just view photos. It's like a slideshow. You can view the headlines. And yeah. And I'll put, the one thing, I, the only thing that I find useful is the CPU meter. If you add this, it just shows you how much CPU and ram usage you're using and then you also got the uh <coughs> <coughs> the weather uh but i don't think the service is available and you got a lot of stuff here you got notes calendar all that stuff and uh, yeah so basically uh as we end n near the end of this video just rest in peace windows vista uh 2007 to 2017 um, you lived a long life, however, not a lot of people liked you. Um, so yeah, so that's pretty much it for this video. Just a video of me exploring Windows Vista, um, uh, 10 years after it's released on the day of the support, um, deadline. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, uh, please leave a comment, like, and subscribe, join the official Discord, and yeah.